We can now look at how to make an extruded cut. This time, let's make a hole in the middle of the part. Go to the sketch tab and click sketch. Select a face to start the sketch on. This face will count as a plane, like we selected for the extrude before. Now, let's create a circle using the circle tool. Click where you would like the center of the circle to be, and then move out from the center and click again. Now, we need to give the circle a size. Click on the Smart Dimension tool and then click on the outside of the circle. Place the dimension to the top right of the circle. This will make the dimension show up as a diameter, rather than the vertical dimension we used for the squares. Now, type in 0.5 for half an inch. Notice the circle is still blue, meaning that it is not defined yet. Make two more dimensions to move the circle into the middle of the part. The dimensions should be half an inch from the bottom and one inch from the side. Close the sketch and go to the Features tab. Now click on the Extruded Cut tool. It asks us how far we want to extrude. Make it cut 3 inches so it can cut all the way through our part. Press the green check mark to finish. Notice now that the extruded cut is added to our feature tree on the left. We can use the extruded cut tool to make a lot of holes and cuts into our part. You can now play around with this tool to understand it better.